So another common and widely assumed myth is that crypto transactions are untraceable uh, and that they're completely anonymous and that crypto is a safe haven for criminals. But the reality is that apart from a handful of privacy tokens, uh, the vast majority of blockchains are public. And in fact, you would be unwise as a criminal to use a public blockchain network to carry out illicit activity. And in fact, uh, law enforcement agencies have seen crypto as a boon for catching criminals. They use something called forensic blockchain analysis to trace these transactions and eventually apprehend criminals. So I think what's going on here is that there is confusion between pseudonymous and anonymous. So an anonymous identity means that we can't pinpoint where the transaction came from, right? We can't associate a particular transaction with something. Whereas a pseudonymous identity would be like a crypto wallet address where you can associate uh, a transaction or entire history of transactions with a particular wallet address. And that means that although you may not have private uh, information associated with that address, such as a, you know your social security number, or maybe your phone number or you know other personal information, uh, you still can be traced, right? And it can be potentially traced back to the physical world. So lastly, research from Elliptic, uh, a blockchain analytics and crypto compliance solutions company, uh, concluded that illicit activity accounts for less than 1% of all crypto transactions. And it turns out that the US dollar is still by far not only the most preferred, but also the most used currency for all criminal activity. So while crypto can be used for criminal activity, uh, so can any currency.